Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you some do's and don'ts that you must keep in mind uh, when you're approaching your winter skincare regime. We are living in the times of coronavirus. The virus is all around us. It has not disappeared. And it is really important to take care of your skin, take care of yourself while also staying protected from coronavirus and while also taking all precautions. So if you're interested in the new uh, winter skincare do's and don'ts, keep watching. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and now let's get started. The very first thing when you're approaching your skincare regime as of today is that you use a good hand sanitizer the one that i'm currently loving is from cleansta is a 70 percent alcohol formula it has the alcohol retention formula and it has been approved by fda and it is a product of iit delhi startup conceptualized and manufactured in india um, in compliance with all WHO uh, guidelines. You know, the kind of environment that we are living in right now, staying protected from coronavirus is the most important thing right now. And the best way to do is, is to use a hand sanitizer on the go. Hand sanitizer is also an important step towards your skincare because I feel, you know, we touch our face so many times during the day inadvertently and um, we tend to transfer a lot of bacteria and viruses onto our skin and right now we are also facing the coronavirus care so it is really important to have a good sanitizer at hand all the time use it um, you'll stay protected from the virus and also your skin will thank you because there won't be any extra any new you know bacteria and viral load on your skin the next thing that you should definitely follow is to have a lot of warm water during winters during the colder months um, warm water not only does it hydrate you from the inside which in turn will give you good skin it also flushes out all toxins so you know if you're facing things like uh, breakouts in your skin dryness and you know itchiness flakiness a lot of us uh, face those problems during the winters you're not going to face any of those if you hydrate yourself really well on the inside first of all and warm water in winters is very easy to consume it also keeps your digestive system uh, in check and it really does a lot of uh, you know good things for your body and for your skin the next step is you know something which we anyway follow uh, during our uh, skincare regime all around the year and that is to use a good moisturizer the one that i'm currently loving is the clean star lotion also the best part is that this is a covid 19 protection lotion it offers up to 24 hours of intensive protective care from the coronavirus it acts against viruses bacteria and fungus so you know all around protection is what you're getting approved by fda made in india conceptualized in india in partnership with iit delhi the best part is that uh, it offers uh, protection against coronavirus which i think is really important right now not only do i apply it on my face i also apply it on my hands because this is a nice uh, runny lotion and it's very easy to apply. This has the world's number one PAP technology, which is prolonged antiviral protection technology. What this essentially means is that it releases antiviral agents on the skin surface, which inactivates the virus and it offers you protection up to 24 hours you do have to reapply it two to three times a day depending on you know the kind of exposure that you have the best time to apply it is 15 to 20 minutes before exposure so anytime you are going to step out just apply this like your sunscreen 15 to 20 minutes before you're stepping out um, also this has uva and uvb protection so you don't need to wear an additional sunscreen this takes care of your uh, sunscreen effect also now in winters we all have dry lips dry nail and cuticle areas dry elbows dry knees dry heels all of these uh, you can tackle if you use a good petroleum jelly at the end of the day right before you go to sleep apply a little uh, petroleum jelly on all of these areas and in the morning you will wake up with soft skin another very important thing that you must do is use a honey mask wherever you are facing dry skin your face and any parts of the body wherever you feel there is dryness or itchiness flakiness apply a good coat of honey over there it is one of the easiest masks to use 
there is nothing that you need to add to it and you know anybody can do it and it is also very effective against very very dry skin too so anybody can use it practically just apply it on your skin leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and wash it off with lukewarm water and you should be good to go also really important in terms of taking care of your skin during winters is to use lots and lots of seasonal fruits and vegetables especially green leafy vegetables all of these things they have all the things that your skin needs all of these things have a lot of things which help with your skin they benefit your skin in multiple ways all the vitamins nutrients anti-aging properties things that help with the collagen so you know it's really important to consume fresh seasonal fruits and vegetables in your diet and green leafy vegetables we all know really help with good skin because they have a lot of antioxidants and vitamins and we all definitely need them for good glowing skin this winter and also they help with the immunity so double protection against the coronavirus you should also add a few um, nuts into your diet dry fruits and nuts they have good fatty acids that help in keeping your skin plump now those were the new age do's now coming to the don'ts that you must uh, keep in mind the first don't would be that you do not touch your face a lot of times during the day that is one thing which is anyway not good for your skin because you transfer bacteria and viruses and whatnot to your skin you tend to break out but right now we are also facing the coronavirus scare so it's best to avoid touching your face at all but if you must use a hand sanitizer but just generally try and keep your hands off your face another very important thing is that you avoid using uh, hot water to wash your face or you know to take a shower use lukewarm water water which is just slightly warm tolerable warm um, you know we all want a nice hot shower but it does more harm than good we all know that a hot shower can um, strip your skin off essential moisture giving you more dry skin in return so it's best to avoid using hot water another don't is that you do not take too long a shower limit your shower time to as less as possible so that your skin uh, is exposed to as less um, warm water as possible um, this will make sure that you know your skin isn't um, you're not coming out of the shower with very dry skin do not forget your weekly exfoliating routine uh, exfoliation is really important even if you have very dry skin because you need to tackle the dry flaky skin on the surface uh, dead skin needs to be removed and um, you know your skin needs to breathe so weekly exfoliating routine is really really important you can use any over-the-counter topical exfoliants or if your skin is up for it and if you have consulted with a doctor a chemical exfoliant is also a good option these days something that i'm also guilty of doing is consumption of a lot of tea and coffee during the day in winters we all want to have um, you know a good number of uh, cups of tea and coffee during the day but they only dry out your skin and you know the milk content in these things it can give you acne if you have acne it can aggravate the acne plus you're consuming sugar so this year i'm at least going to try and minimize my tea and coffee consumption and you should do it too try switching to something like a green tea or a chamomile tea which uh, you know is also going to benefit your skin in the long run because they have these antioxidants which um, you know you need for your skin repair try to minimize tea and coffee and try and switch to green tea or a chamomile tea or any tea that you like but avoid uh, the regular teas that we have um, at least just minimize the consumption and last but not the least do not uh, you know run the heater in your room for long hours do not sleep with the heater on uh, for the whole night because you know heaters they tend to dry out the air and that in turn is going to dry out your skin if you do need to use a heater in your room just warm up your room and switch off the heater so that you're not sitting in a very hot room for long because that's going to dry out your skin and nobody wants that so that was it guys those were my um, new do's and don'ts for the times that we are living in for the upcoming winter it's really important to take care of your skin more so this year because you need to uh, you know also fight the coronavirus you need to stay protected from the virus so take care of your skin while also 
trying to keep the virus at bay do use things that can improve your immunity from the inside but also use products that will give you surface protection a good hand sanitizer and you know um, this is a very nice innovative product uh, a covid 19 protection lotion um, you should give it a try i'm going to leave the link in the bio for you to check it out these two things i'm really uh, loving at the moment you should definitely check them out so those were some of the things that i'm going to follow this winter i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did do give it a big thumbs up do subscribe to my channel for more and i'm going to see you guys in the next one bye